All right, so uh, yes, so today we are going to talk about non-parametric statistics. And the reason, uh, you see the point is, this is this point of non-parametric statistics uh, kind of is very close to me because you see what happened is during my PhD, my supervisor asked me to cert collect certain data. And uh, then he said, Chalo, anova lagalo. And it so happened that I was I am not a great fan of statistics. Basically. So at that point of time, I was, uh, you know, sort of reluctant not to apply statistics. So I started, you know, finding of sorry, finding excuses so that I can prove my supervisor wrong. That ki baba is is data pe anova nahi lagta hai. So then I started digging the literature and all that. Then finally uh, found out that if the data is not having certain properties, then you cannot apply uh, ANOVA on that particular data. Uh, so therefore, uh, I went to my supervisor, look, I cannot apply statistics because it does not fit to this condition. And so my PhD should be awarded. So to my surprise, he replied that, look, uh, it's not like it's not so simple like this. If the statistics is not applicable, then there must be some other technique which can be applied. And then somehow it it, uh, it stuck to me, it struck me and I went to the library of IIT Kanpur and uh, finally found out certain books on non-parametric statistics. And uh, there started my journey of uh, analyzing data and finally producing the thesis for whatever I produced. Uh, but uh, this non-parametric statistics is a contribution of my supervisor to the PhD thesis. So uh, before we talk about this and this, uh, I believe that this lecture I'm going to go very slow because it contains certain difficult phrases. And uh, don't be afraid. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to make it simple. May I request all this to me? Okay, so I have to really go and mute everybody. Okay. So may I, okay. So the thing is that we are expecting these topic outcomes. So we are going to expect what is hypothesis testing. Then there's a definition of non-parametric statistics. So there will be hypothesis testing, non-parametric and non-parametric analysis of variance. And then we'll talk about post-hoc analysis. Uh, the target of doing uh, today is to cover the first three points. Uh, we will try to cover the first three points today and the remaining points in the next lecture. So uh, let us begin. So what is parametric versus non-parametric flow? So if you you might have seen these curves, which represent the normal distribution. So in the normal distribution, which is the first graph, which is present here, the normal distribution says that the function is symmetric about a certain point. So like, for example, in this particular graph, the, the blue colored graph that you are seeing, are you able to see my mouse cursor? Yes, sir, yes. Ah, so if you, are, if you are seeing this mouse cursor, you are able to see that this particular blue curve is symmetric about the point x equal to zero. So on the, on the left side and the right side. Similarly, there is the yellow curve, which is also symmetric, but it is rather flat. OK, so these are the various forms of the normal distribution which are available and the uh, normal distribution uh, depends on two parameters. Number one, what is the first parameter? Can anybody tell me? The first parameter is the mu. Mu is the mean and the second parameter is called the sigma. So the mean and the standard deviation are basically the parameters of the normal distribution and because if I can see if, if you see this expression 
what does it give? This expression gives me the probability of the value x. This is the output. That is the reason why we call it the probability distribution function. The output of the probability distribution function is to give me the probability of the value x. Okay, and when we are talking about this function, in this function, there are these things, these things. You see this sigma, this sigma is there, this mu is there, and the pi is there. The pi is definitely a constant. So if I control the values of mu and sigma, I can control the shape of this function. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so now similarly, I have the Poisson distribution. Now, many people have the habit of calling it the Poisson distribution, but the, the actual pronunciation is Poisson. So at the Poisson distribution, the parameter here is lambda. And if I control the value of lambda, I can change the uh, way the curve looks. So you can see this one lambda equal to how lambda equal to one looks and how lambda equal to four curve looks and how lambda equal to 10 curve looks. So we change these parameters and we can control the function. So for parametric methods, so whatever parametric methods exist, the data is assumed to follow the respective statistical distribution. So if I have got the Z test, or if I have got the chi-square test, or if I have got the um, say T test, then, I, or if I have got the F test, now many people have already done the F test and the T test and the Z test or something like that. Uh, or for all these tests, there is a particular statistic and there is an assumption that your data, which you have procured using various sensors or survey sheets, etc., there's an assumption, underlying assumption, that the data follows the particular distribution. If the data does not follow the distribution, you cannot apply those tests. So there, for if I say I am talking about a non-parametric method, if I say non-parametric method, I do not need to assume any specific distribution. This is what the background is. So what is parametric versus non-parametric? In the parametric one, I will have the parameters of the distribution, which will be known to me beforehand. And for non-parametric methods, I do not need to any, do not need to assume any kind of distribution which is lying at the back end. However, if you study, if you are really a theoretical enthusiast, you will see that in the statistics book, it is written independently and identically distributed. There's this word IID independently and identically distributed, this assumption is there that all the values, they will follow the same distribution. That is what the assumption is, okay? So, but we will not go into that. So if you go to any statistical book, that is what IID will be written. Okay, so what I'm saying is uh, the data may not follow the probability distributions and data may be ordinal or nominal. So examples of ordinal data and nominal data are given here and it is cc for example the first person second person third person so order when there is a sense of order i call it an ordinal data okay so first second third okay low medium high there is this a b c okay so and then there is called elementary school high school college graduate there is this education level so when there are indications of levels so we call it ordinal data okay there is this another one which is called nominal data the nominal data is like you know ethnicity or marital status or gender and this particular uh, you know this particular graph shows only man and woman but gender issues are now becoming much more open and so therefore there might be more genders now Okay, so then there could be hair color, blonde, brown, brunette, and uh, there could be housing style and all that. So these are the non-parametric methods applicable to this kind of data when we are talking. So the data, that is the source data, 
you have to convert them into numbers so the data might be something different but you have to convert them into numbers to organize to do those tests so let us see how we do that okay so uh, before we go forward if you look at the statistics book as a good quality statistics book a good quality statistics book will will differ between two letters you know that is capital p and small p so what is capital p and what is small p whenever i say capital p i will say this is cumulative probability that means the area under this curve is called cumulative probability cumulative probability is the area under the curve whereas this small p will denote what we call as uh, just a moment safaraz ali qadri is not able to join he says Uh, can anybody add Kathri sir, please? I can. I cannot see him here. Il est seize heures. Okay, so uh, fine. To see this, so is this slide clear? I hope this slide is clear. The small p denotes probability, and the capital P will denote the cumulative probability. The cumulative probability means the area under the curve. So uh, let us first of all have a motivation. Again, the motivation is very simple, and I have shown to you this slide earlier also, and the motivation is. that which is the better product which is the better health thing that we are talking about whether it is bone vita whether it is uh, power vita or horlicks or something like that so uh, let me check so right so which one is the better health thing and how do i guess which is the better health thing now again there is the better medicine uh, those people who have joined in late into the phd program they will also recall this slide that i have shown earlier so there is a scientific process this particular scientific process uh, and in the scientific process there is a hypothesis and based on the hypothesis i am going to verify whether my assumption is true or false okay so the test results usually support or refute the hypothesis and triggering a new right round of hypothesis formulation or testing so there is a scientific process which is which is shown right now here on this slide and this is a traditional scientific method which is purely based on hypothesis based deduction and there is this word called falsifiable falsifiable okay so this is falsifiable hypothesis that means there must be a scientific proving process or non proving process that's what i'm talking about so the scientific proof process is there always okay so let us go to the next slide so you do you know this person Ah, so this is Shakuni Mama. So basically, Shakuni Mama's uh, 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 what? If I suppose, for example, if Shakuni Mama is holding the pasta in his hands, what will be my hypothesis? It will be in his favor. <laughs> that means basically, the hypothesis is that this Shakuni Mama has to do some cheating. Karein. That is the basic idea. Okay. Yes, sir. So, but when we are talking about hypothesis testing, we talk about two things number one the null hypothesis so null hypothesis ka matlab hota hai data is going to follow the law or distribution number two there is no difference in outcomes that okay 
the coin is not biased the die is not biased all products are the same so suppose for example we go back to this particular diagram all products are the same is the null hypothesis if you go back to this particular slide all products are the same is the null hypothesis okay so what will be null hypothesis in the case of shakuni mama chal chaling now huh? so null Nali. hypothesis in the case of shakuni mama is that his die is not biased we have to scientifically prove that his die is biased that is what i am saying so we will scientifically prove by using an experiment or some data so that's the null hypothesis it says is always the same thing so the second one is called the alternate hypothesis in the alternate hypothesis it says it's not the same thing all right so uh, uh, you see what happens is there is this uh, uh, there is a song you might have heard of the song called macarena so that's there is a spanish song macarena dale tu cuerpo alegría macarena and then what i did was i mean i had this a spanish friend of mine so the, what does this mean so i the person says i cannot explain to you so then i go to the internet and actually translate the lyrics and i bring that lyrics in front of that person and says this is no 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 this this is not the same thing this is completely vulgar this is this is not what it what the song says so th that means it, there is an alternate hypothesis that data does not follow the law or the distribution there is no difference there is difference in the outcomes the coin or die is biased and all products are not the same or that means at least one is different okay so when i say all products are not the same at least one of them is different so the there is this word called statistic there is this word called statistic and this statistic follows the statistical distribution okay so it might be possible so there is a chi square statistic so chi square statistic follows the chi square distribution the z statistic or which is called the z score that follows the z distribution or normal distribution okay so similarly we at in every hypothesis testing mechanism there is a statistic which is followed so now the comparison is using a level of significance significance we call it level of significance or a level of confidence okay the standard values in you know, the standard values when i say standard value these values are found out from the statistics book but let me tell you that i mean actually uh, professor sri krishna pawar who is my colleague uh, he pointed out this pointed this out in one of my previous lectures he says why do we have to really check for 10% 5% or 0.01% why do i have to do that so therefore it is not mandatory let me tell you it is not mandatory right now because software are available so it is not mandatory to check for 10% 5% or 1% you can even check for 7% and uh, those people who are interested in reading the papers so there is this eugene uh, eddington papers their eddington paper so hypothesis testing without fixed levels of significance and let me tell you that this paper was published and you can see it on the slide this paper was itself published in 1970 long back okay so in in this is journal of psychology and it says that you can do testing without fixed levels of significance also all right howard sir uh, you remember you are you asked this question uh, yes sir yes sir thank you thank you <laughs> and now so now there is this testing fundamental the testing fundamental is like this so uh, so uh, now let me tell you that if for individual um, testing individual tests there will be specific details available to you for the chi square test let me tell you the chi square test the testing fundamental is like this so if the calculated value is less than the tabulated value then i accept the null hypothesis now the null hypothesis means there is no difference okay if the calculated well now if you see the first graph here i have plotted these graphs personally yeah, using the software 
So if you see the first graph here, the shaded value is representing the rejection area. So if I want to reject something, uh, if I want to reject something, so I ha I have to have my calculated value in the shaded region only. So this this T, you see the T here, the dotted line, it is the critical value. Okay. That S which you are seeing here, this S is the calculated value. So this calculated value, ये गोरे वाले part में है. So that means this is null hypothesis is accepted. So calculated value is less than the tabulated value. If the calculated value is equal to the tabulated value, I am not so sure. I cannot say anything for this particular level of significance. I cannot make any comment. And if the calculated value is greater than the tabulated value, look at here, it is, we are going to reject H0. This is what I am trying to tell you. So if the calculated value is less, then you accept H0. It is equal, then I'm not sure, sure. If it is greater than the tabulated value, I'm going to reject the null hypothesis. And I'm going to say it is not possible that the tests are the same there is a difference in the value in the tests okay so these are the testing fundamentals i am i have tried to explain this by using graphics so let us begin uh, with oh, sir yeah sir shall i ask a question yeah yeah uh, uh thoda sa basic wala puchta hu thoda sa connect nahi kar pa raha isliye puch raha hu normally uh, we have to uh, whether we shall be uh, accept matlab hum log ka research work jo hota hai whether it is focusing on accepting the uh, null hypothesis or rejecting the null hypothesis thoda sa basic wala puch raha hu bahut badhiya sawal puchha so if i if i go back to what your research is okay so let me connect this to your research so what you are doing is if i i mean uh, i am just referring to your research by the discussions we have had together yes. correct yes. now in the discussion that we have had you are trying to design a new process correct Okay. new process of manufacturing yeah correct so um, i mean when i say new process of manufacturing the computer science people might interpret as uh, interpret it as a new algorithm the civil engineering people might design it i mean uh, interpret as a new mix or the um, uh, electrical engineering people might uh, decide it as a new process something like that so you, what you are doing is trying to devise a new process of manufacturing so that the uh, there is a wastage less either you are trying to talk about wastage less wastage or you are talking about more strength that is what you are talking about right if if it is mota mota this much only so you have to prove to the scientific community that look i have designed a new process and it is going to be better than the previous processes so the null hypothesis will be my my process is as good as the previous process and your alternate hypothesis will be my process is better than the previous process does this answer your question mm, yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir मतलब क्या है कि योर फोकस इज टू रिजेक्ट द नॉन हाइपोथेसिस दैट मींस माय प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू बी बेटर देन द अदर प्रोसेस हम्म हम्म यस सर सो नाउ व्हाट एवर टॉक वी आर गोइंग टू हैव टुडे आवर टॉक इज नॉट गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन व्हिच इज बेटर यू कैन से दैट योर प्रोसेस इज डिफरेंट ओके बेटर और नॉट वी विल सी टुमारो आई मीन इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर यस यस ऑल राइट सो लेट अस ओके लेट अस गो फॉरवर्ड हियर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू deal with the very fundamental test which is called the chi square test the first one which is there in the in the how to say in the statistics book this is the chi square test and the originally as conceived by pearson okay pearson's paper 1900 acha abhi ek aur baat bolunga ki in a certain In a certain meeting, there was a discussion that Baba Chi Square Test, as a use, कर सकते हैं कि नहीं कर सकते हैं. There was a discussion. Uh, one of your, one of the people who is present here in this particular meeting also might recall that particular discussion, isn't it? So 
let me also discuss what he was also talking about and maybe he will find an answer here okay i am not going to take the name but if he wants he can also come up and say things okay so the chi square test ka matlab kya hai why do we use the chi square test chi square test is to test whether your data agrees with a given law that means if i want to say if my data is following a particular distribution mera data normally distributed hai ya nahi hai ye mujhe test karna hai to chi square test use karne ka mera data mendel's law of heredity follow karta hai nahi so main chi square test use karunga mera data gamma distribution exponential distribution ya fir koi bhi alag distribution फॉलो करता है या नहीं अगर मुझे टेस्ट करना है तो काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट यूज करूंगा नाउ लेट मी टेल यू द काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट इज नॉट ऑलवेज यूज अलोन सेटिस्फैक्ट्री कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री टेस्ट को यूज करना पड़ता है इन ऑर्डर टू बी मोर कॉन्फिडेंट काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट इज ओनली अ बेसिक टेस्ट दैट इज यूज तो वॉट एवर फॉर्म ऑफ काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट यू यूज यू हैव टू फॉलो इट अप विथ अनदर टेस्ट ये याद रखिए आप ओके so let us begin with the chi square test and we have to calculate the chi square statistic ye jo statistic ye jo formula diya hua hai this formula that is given to you this formula x equal to oi minus ei and this one this formula is the chi square statistic and this statistic follows the chi square distribution okay and it also has what we call as a degree of freedom so if n are the types of observations i am saying types of observations are there n types of observations then the degree of freedom is always n minus 1 so let us suppose that we are tossing a die die pata hai kya hai ludo khela hai aap logon ne you have played a ludo and the die has how many faces सिक्स डाई हैज सिक्स पेसेस ओके सो लूडो का जो डाई है उसको सिक्स पेसेस है सो नाउ द थिंग इज दैट सपोज आई टॉस द डाई सिक्स हंड्रेड टाइम्स वट डू आई एक्सपेक्ट मेरा एक्सपेक्टेशन क्या रहेगा इफ आई टॉस द डाई हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड टाइम्स देन मेरा एक्सपेक्टेशन ये रहेगा कि वन जो है वो हंड्रेड टाइम्स आए टू जो है वो हंड्रेड टाइम्स आए from for all the faces i should get the output 100 times isn't it isn't that the expectation because why is that the expectation that expectation is because every face has the same probability 1 upon 6 kya main sahi bol raha hu yes so every face has the same probability so therefore the expectation is that every face will appear 100 times but but aisa hota hai kya so usually if i do an experiment it will not happen if i do an experiment it will not happen it may happen that the face number 1 is coming 110 times and face number 2 is coming 90 times it can happen but does that mean that my die is biased hame nahi pata we have to evaluate it through the chi square test to check that okay so please see that we are going to use the chi square test when the statistical model or the mathematical model of the system is known a priori that means i know that my system is following a particular distribution if i know that my system is following the gamma distribution I must know it beforehand. ये नहीं कि मुझे chi square test निक से उसको confirm करना है. नहीं. I have to confirm it using, I mean, using the a priori literature. That means I have to read literature, what which distribution it follows, and based on that I, based on that I will do the chi square test. That is what I am saying. I must know the model of the system a priori. पहले से मुझे पता होना चाहिए. जैसे, for example. i know that all the faces of the die have the same probability so therefore i know that the die follows the uniform distribution 
This is what I'm saying. So I'm going to follow it up with an example. The example says the Gregor Mendel. There is a Gregor Mendel ka naam suna hai kya aapne? So Gregor Mendel ka jin logo na naam nahi suna jane dijiye. The Gregor Mendel ne ek theory diya hai. O theory ka naam hai theory of heredity. That means maa ki property or baap ki property in some way or the other it should replicate in the child. So there is a theory of heredity given by Gregor Mendel. And Gregor Mendel conducted several experiments. There are loads and loads of data available. Matlab, if you go back to literature, if you search the internet, and if you search the internet on Gregor Mendel's data, you will get loads and loads of data. He has conducted so many experiments. Okay. And most of the experiments were conducted with peas. Okay. Ye jo peas hai, ye matter, aur uske upar experiment unhone kiye hai. And based on that, he has given his, has proposed his theory of heredity. So his experiment says that in an experiment with peas, 315 peas were round and yellow and 108 were round and green. Then 101 were wrinkled and yellow and 32 were wrinkled and green. So if you actually go to the market and you ask for mutter ki dal and you will, you will see that there will be various kinds of colors. There will be round and yellow, there will be round and green. There will be wrinkled and yellow and wrinkled and green also. All kinds of matar ki dal is available. Okay. You go to the market and see. Okay. If it's a poor quality one, uh, then all will be mixed. And if it's a good quality one, all peas will have, be having the same shape. But anyway, according to his theory of heredity, these numbers should be in the proportion of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So now, do I have to doubt his theory? Or, I mean, is there any evidence? that I have to doubt this theory. So I again conduct an experiment. So this is Gregor Mendel has proposed this theory long back. And I am now going to test this theory of heredity. And the question I'm posing, is there any evidence to doubt his theory at 0 0.01 and 0 0.05 significance levels? So this is what I'm saying. So now what I do is I'm just do this. I will calculate the probability. And then I will do the expected number, calculate the expected number. And remember, I have this formula, Y minus EI square divided by EI. I just calculate this for uh, value. And then ultimately, I find out the experiment is going to follow, this experiment is actually following the Mendel's law, uh, Mendel's theory of heredity. So, this is my solve karne ka. Okay, so I have to just calculate the probability. Based on the probability, there will be expected number. And I just put these numbers into this particular formula and then I will obtain the total. I mean, the I'll obtain the uh, fact that the null hypothesis is accepted, which means there is no difference between my experiment and Mendel's law of heredity. Ye null hypothesis hai. Alternate hypothesis kya hoga? There is a difference between my experiment and uh, Mendel's law of heredity. Okay. Again, I will highlight there is this type 1 and type 2 error. And again, I am going to repeat this. Those who might have forgotten, uh, I have shown this in the previous lecture. So there is there is a complete possibility in hypothesis testing that something is uh, not different, but still it is showing positive. OK, so the something is not different and it is still showing positive. So there is this particular pregnancy test and you put the male urine into the pregnancy test and it shows the male as pregnant. So this is a false positive error. Similarly, as a fully pregnant woman, nine month uh, pregnant woman, and you put the uh, urine sample of the nine month pregnant woman into, the, into that particular kit and it shows not pregnant. So this is called a type 2 error. So type 1 error and type 2 error are very much existent in the null hypothesis. And these usually happen in borderline cases. Okay, I will just check if somebody, okay.
तो नाउ दिस वॉज ये अपना ये दूसरा दूसरा यूज है का स्क्वायर टेस्ट का नाउ इफ यू गो टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल ना तो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल में ये वाला टेस्ट है ये वाला द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल डज नॉट डू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल और लिब्र ऑफिस कैल डज नॉट डू दी का स्क्वायर टेस्ट विच वी सॉ अर्लियर इट डज दिस वन एंड लेट मी टेल यू दिस इज वेरी मिसलीडिंग हाउ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल डज इट ये बहुत ही दिक्कत वाला काम है सो दस वाई आई विल रिकमेंड दैट Uh, you know don't use this method but still if you want to you can do okay so the question is are two variables related for example is the brand of health drink brought by parents related to the state in which they are for example maharashtra mein rehne wale marathi log jo marathi speaking people hai do they prefer bon vita over other health drinks or for example if they go to west bengal do they prefer horlicks over other drinks which i know which they do because i am a bengali <laughs> so they do and uh, suppose you go to uttar pradesh uh, do they prefer uh, say moltoma over other health drinks i don't know that means i have to go do this test so is this purchase of health drink related to which state similarly aap agar movie dekhne jate suppose aap movie dekhne gaye lai bhari okay तो लय भारी एक पर्टिकुलर टाइप का मूवी है उसमें कॉमेडी भी है हॉरर भी है एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा है सो नाउ इज द आई मीन स्नैक ब्रॉड टाइप ऑफ स्नैक वेदर यू बाय द स्नैक और डोंट बाय द स्नैक रिलेटेड टू द जॉनर ऑफ द मूवी कॉमेडी मूवी है तो पॉपकॉर्न नहीं खाना है हॉरर मूवी है तो पॉपकॉर्न खाना है या फिर रोमांटिक मूवी है तो पॉपकॉर्न नहीं खाना है खाना है समथिंग लाइक दैट सो डू इज द इज दिस कनेक्टेड then for example uh, the matrimonial websites and this is one of the one of the things which is done uh, you know typically ke aap agar uh, matrimonial website pe jayenge to ye dikhega aapko actually hai na yahan se data bhi aapko mil sakta hai so there is this i mean because uh, for uh, for iitians you no know, this was not working the shadi.com bengali matrimony.com these websites were not working so they created iit iim shadi.com in fact they created that probably because is the type of qualification of the boy related to the type of beauty features sort in a uh, woman so this is the uh, one of the questions which is there okay then is the breed of the dog and the type of food preferred by the dog related to so, alsatian hai to is prakar ka khana khata hai ya fir agar uh, pomeranian hai to dusra type ka khana khata hai aisa hai kya question i don't know i mean this could be this could be a question so now we are trying to test this kind of thing so chi square test as a test of independence okay so are two variables related so if i have to do this test what do i require i require simple random sample random sample so i randomly pick up so i go to this aurangabad city just go to any house randomly pick up say 600 data sets there is a big city here i mean big in the not in big in the sense of kolkata but uh, it's a it's a fairly big city 49 square kilometer you go to 600 households uh, plenty of houses available here 600 households jinke paas kutta hai aur wahan se unka information nikalne ka fir uske baad aap chale jaiye hello who is this somebody okay uh, i hope i am not boring you huh? no sir because wo kya hai beech mein se koi koi kar raha na i am getting distracted so anyway so i am uh, talking about the breed of dog and the brand of food so there are two categorical variables so categorical variables remember nominal variables that we talked about earlier so the breed of the dog is a nominal variable and the brand of food is also a nominal variable and similarly residential state of child that's a nominal variable brand of health drink that's a nominal variable so is prakar ke variable lene ka and at least five expected values so when i say again expected values please recall this particular thing yahan pe expected values the aur yahan pe degree of freedom bhi maujood tha correct okay so now we are going to सम सैम्पल डेटा और वो सैम्पल डेटा ऐसा है कि आई टेकन दिस सैम्पल डेटा द लिंक इज गिवन बिलो हियर 
सो द सैंपल डेटा ऐसा है आई हैव गॉट द ब्लू टेबल एंड दिस डेटा सेज दैट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू एन एक्शन मूवी फिफ्टी पीपल परचेज स्नैक्स एंड सेवेंटी फाइव पीपल डोंट परचेज एनी स्नैक्स इफ आई से गोइंग टू कॉमेडी मूवी वन ट्वेंटी फाइव वन सेवेंटी फाइव and if i'm going to a family movie then 90 30 then horror movie 45 10 so this is how we uh, have the data iska matlab abhi more aisa ho raha hai ki if i see this uh, kind of table by looking at only the blue table you will start saying ki yaar comedy movie dekhte waqt apan snacks nahi khate i mean you will say ki by most of the people don't eat the snacks but look at the numbers you have got 125 175 only 50 different and uh, agar aap bolenge ki baba family movie dekhne jate hain to apan 90 log snacks khate rehte hain okay but still look at the difference it's 60 only and then horror movie dekhte hain to 45 10 hai so the there is a 35 difference so how do i look so what i did was i have i have calculated these row totals So I've just done 50 plus 75. That's 125 and all that. So I've calculated these row totals, and then I have calculated the expected value. So how do I calculate the expected value? So suppose, for example, I have to I, I, have, I have to calculate the expected value for this particular cell. I have to calculate. So what do I do? This value multiply karo. This value se that means 300 then ko multiply karo 125 se divide by 600 karo. So it's conditional probability formula. So ये 310, 125 से मल्टीप्लाई किया, डिवाइड बाय 600, सो यू विल गेट 65. सो सिमिलरली इफ आई हैव टू कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू, मल्टीप्लाई 290 इनटू 125 डिवाइड बाय 600, सो यू विल गेट 60. सो इन दैट वे, सो देयर इज द पॉसिबिलिटी दैट दिस कुड बी सम फ्रैक्शनल नंबर, सो यू राउंड इट अप. बेसिकली दैट्स इट. सो यू जस्ट जस्ट राउंड इट अप. ओके, सो नाउ यू हैव गॉट अ टेबल. रिमेंबर इन प्रीवियस आल्सो यू हैड गॉट एन ऑब्जर्वड वैल्यू एंड एन एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू. Similarly, you will get observed value and expected value. यही तो मुझे मिलेगा, okay? So यही तो मुझे calculate करना है. So if I just calculate this observed value minus expected value whole square divided by the expected value, if I do that, then I will get this particular table, and we'll add all the values in the table. So I get the calculated value as 65.03. देखो भाई, 65.03 है. तो null hypothesis क्या बोलता है? Remember. मेरा नल हाइपोथेसिस क्या है क्वेश्चन आर दे रिलेटेड टू इच अदर दैट मींस इज माय टाइप ऑफ मूवी रिलेटेड टू द फैक्ट दैट आई बाय स्नैक्स आर दे रिलेटेड टू इच अदर सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन वेयर आई एम ट्राइंग टू पोज द नल हाइपोथेसिस विल से दे आर नॉट रिलेटेड बॉस सो देयर इज सम रिलेशनशिप दैट्स ओके सो दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग सो लुक एट दिस अगेन The tabulated value is 7.81. Look at the tabulated value, and I, I can get the chi-square table from any statistics book. The tabulated value is 7.81. You can also get the tabulated value from the you know any software that you are using, Me Tab, R, Excel, or whatever it, you know, software you want to use. But the tabulated value is written as 7.81 here. Calculated value is 67, 65.03, and therefore. the what we can see is the tabulated value is less than the calculated value and therefore the null hypothesis is rejected it means it is in the rejection area let us go back a few slides earlier you see this here the tabulated value is here and the calculated value is here so it is in the null hypothesis rejection area that means what i am saying is the movie going genre type of the movie and snacks buying they are completely related to each other that is what they are saying now we will start with the signed rank text tests by wilcoxon so again i have taken for this particular signed rank tests a data which is called mt cars so this mt cars data is available with this software called r okay If you want that data, I can post it on the WhatsApp group that we have. I can give it that data to you, and you can play with that data. The empty cars data is there. Okay, so it contains a lot of fields, which is called cylinder, miles per gallon, 
and that's kind of car performance data set is there. And, and anybody who wants to really play with the data set, you can go and play, go ahead and play with the data. So I, I can give you the data if you want. So anyway, so there are two types of Wilcoxon tests. Number one is the single sample variety and the paired sample variety. So there are, there are times when I use a single sample and there are times when I use a paired sample. So when do I use this uh, paired sample? The paired sample is used when there is a precondition and a post condition. For example, if a person is ill, COVID-19 has been used. So, in the first condition, he has measured the oxygen level from the oxymeter. And in the post-treatment, he has measured the oxygen level from the oxymeter. Okay. Similarly, so what I did was I calculated, I collected a lot of data containing pre-data and post-data. So, I can, this is called a paired data set. Pre and post. Similarly, before monsoon, uh, water level in the uh, kuwa, okay, in the well, water level inside the well, uh, pre monsoon and post monsoon. I just collect that data. Then uh, I can say air quality. Uh, so air quality pre monsoon and post monsoon. I can go on giving some examples which you can do by pre and post. Okay. So there, these are called paired sample varieties. In the single sample variety, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to, I'm going to uh, pick up the sample from the population, okay? And suppose, for example, I have an a priori idea that the population median, I'm saying median, why? Because median is much more robust measure of the central tendency of the data set. A robust measure, okay? So, if I'm having average, what will happen? If I add a very large value to the data set, the average is going to change. However, the median does not. That's what I'm saying. So, the median is much robust measure of the central tendency. So, what is the median? Look at this. This is the plot which you are seeing right now here. This plot which is there. This plot is basically representing the lowest value, the highest value, and this is the central value here. Okay, so this central value, that means 50% of the data is above this line, 50% of the data is below this line. So at this particular point, there is the median. All right, similarly, I have also plotted this particular histogram from the same data. I have plotted this histogram. And what I'm seeing is this histogram does not have a particular shape. It does not follow the normal distribution. This is not a Poisson distribution, it is not a Poisson exponential, it is not a graphic gamma. So from the histogram or from the histogram that we are seeing, I cannot conclude anything about the statistical distribution of the data. I cannot conclude anything. And therefore, I have to use the Wilcoxon signed rank test because it's a it's a non-parametric method. Okay. So it is not following any distribution. I cannot conclude. And so therefore, I am going to follow the Wilcoxon signed rank tests. Okay, so it's a pair, so it's a single sample variety. So mujhe kya pata hona chahiye? A priori मुझे क्या पता होना चाहिए कि median क्या है उस population का तो suppose I'm just this, because this is an example so I've just taken the empty cast data can you see the data set which is being displayed in the in the on the screen right now is this the data visible to you yes sir yes yes sir oh, oh okay so if you if you see this uh, if you see this data set, it is saying MPG, CYL, DISP, HP, DRAT, and all that, all this kind of things which are given to the data set. Description of the data set is given on the R website. So what you have to do is the step one for the Wilcoxon test, basically, with the single sample test. So what you have to do is uh, you have to collect the data. So collect the data, collect, I can give you the data with you. Okay, just... You can do that. 
and we are going to use the mpg column only the miles per gallon column sirf usi usi column pe apan khelenge baki column ko apan ignore karenge khelna hi hai na apan ko now the total number of values in this particular column is 32 okay so this is how the box plot looks like i have already shown you the box plot in the previous slide so now what you have to do is calculate the absolute differences ab kya karna hai dekhiye aap ये एज्यूम द मीडियन नाउ दिस इज व्हाट आई एम सेइंग पॉपुलेशन मीडियन सपोज आपको पहले से मालूम है द पॉपुलेशन मीडियन इज 21 ओके सो इफ आई इफ दिस 21 व्हाट आई हैव टू कैलकुलेट आई हैव टू कैलकुलेट वैल्यू माइनस द मीडियन वैल्यू माइनस द मीडियन वैल्यू माइनस द मीडियन सो दैट दैट इज व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू सो आई सी दिस इज 21 सो द मीडियन इज ऑलरेडी 21 21 माइनस 21 0 21 21 0 22.8 आई विल सो व्हाट आई हैव डन व्हाट आई हैव Uh, what i have got is one table where the mpg values are there and the differences are also there so uh, let me tell you that i have actually done this processing to ye jo jo bhi aapko ye dikh raha hai ye this is an output from the r software okay so now what you have happened what is happening now right now we have got all the, a, a column which contains all the absolute differences now you see the 18 minus 1 yahan pe dekhiye साइन नहीं लगा हुआ है ना इट इज एन एब्सोल्यूट डिफरेंस इट इज ये एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू निकाल के रखा मैंने उसका ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज फाइंड आउट रैंक सो अभी क्या करना है प्लीज सी दिस इफ आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट रैंक व्हाट यू हैव टू डू आई हैव टू ऑर्गेनाइज देम इन द इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ओके सो नो प्लीज टेल मी वन थिंग एक जगह पे देखिए वन पॉइंट एट वन पॉइंट एट इज अभी okay and then you are also uh, you know some all other values like for example 10.6 10.6 hai some of the values you see in this particular table are repeated okay what do i do with them agar mujhe rank karna hai to kya karna hai mujhe can you tell me errors nikal dene ke sir see ha kya kya karne ka जो आउटलायर्स है सेम वैल्यूज वो वी वी विल रिमूव देम ओके सो विल नॉट रिमूव देम एक्चुअली देखिए आप फॉर एग्जांपल मैं आपको बहुत एक सिंपैथेटिक एम्पैथेटिक एग्जांपल देता हूं ये सपोज फॉर एग्जांपल आपकी बच्ची चाहे कालदाते सर बोल रहे थे ना तो कालदाते सर आपकी बच्ची स्कूल में जाती है करेक्ट अगर मान लीजिए कि आपके बच्चे के क्लास में दो लोगों को सेम परसेंटेज मिला है और वो सेकेंड रैंक पे the the first sub, suppose the first person who has come first that person has scored 95 percent your daughter has scored 92 another girl or another boy in the class has also scored 92 then another person is there who has scored 90 ab usko rank kaise dena apna outlier bol ke hata to nahi sakte rank kaise dena there are four people how many ranks will be there then those many ranks will be there sir so the first the guy who has come first definitely will get rank 1 the guy or rather the two people who have got come second they will get the same rank 2 two, 2 two. yes sir yes sir yes okay then the guy who is the fourth guy usko kaun sa rank milega usko three rank milega ki usko four rank milega three अब क्या है कि देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड कॉम्पिटेटिव रैंकिंग प्रोसीजर ओके सो नाउ रिगार्डिंग द कॉम्पिटेटिव रैंकिंग प्रोसीजर यू कैन फाइंड अ नोट ऑन द विकीपीडिया ऑल द विकीपीडिया इज नॉट अ कॉम्प्रेसिव गाइड बट यू कैन फाइंड अ नोट ऑन द विकीपीडिया व्हिच एक्चुअली सेज द कॉम्पिटेटिव रैंकिंग मैकेनिज्म विल अलाउ फॉर स्टाइड रैंक्स बट वॉट विल हैपन इज वन टू टू फोर ओके सो इफ देर आर समथिंग लाइक दिस वन टू टू फोर तो so, अब क्या करना है तो टू और थ्री या या समबडी हैज सेड समबडी फ्रॉम आर्किटेक्चर राइट ही हैज सेड स्किप द थर्ड रैंक वेरी गुड सो दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग दैट यू कैन यू आर गोइंग टू डू वन टू टू फोर यू स्किप द थर्ड रैंक सो यूजुअली व्हाट वुड हैव हैपेंड इफ द थर्ड रैंक वाज प्रेजेंट देन वन टू थ्री फोर होता तो वॉट यू डू वॉट यू विल डू इज टू और थ्री का एवरेज निकालेंगे एंड टाइट रैंक देंगे टू और थ्री का एवरेज निकालेंगे तो टू पॉइंट फाइव आता है सो वन टू पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव फोर 
in this particular ranking mechanism which you are seeing right now so what has happened is the tight ranks have been replaced by the average ranks okay so somebody from the architecture department who was that let me check who is it okay shantanu sir yes that's that's true all right so okay now what you do is create the r plus and r minus columns what does this what is basically this so for the values which are higher than the median put the ranks in the r plus column so this is the r plus column you can see here the r plus column so what you are going to do is anything which is higher than like 22.8 higher than the median to so r plus column mein dalega agar lower than the median so for example 17.8 तो उसका रैंक आर माइनस कॉलम में डालने का तो द सम ऑफ दी आर प्लस कॉलम एंड दी आर माइनस कॉलम ये हैव टू करना है तो सम ऑफ दी आर प्लस कॉलम एंड दी आर माइनस कॉलम्स द यू सेपरेटली यू कैलकुलेट सम ऑफ दी आर प्लस कॉलम इज 177.5 एंड द सम ऑफ दी आर माइनस कॉलम इज 287.5 सो देन फ्रॉम देन फ्रॉम देयर यू सिलेक्ट द स्मॉलर वन दैट इज व्हाट यू हैव टू डू सिलेक्ट द smaller one so now you can uh, abhi kya hai ki some people have given these tables isko bolte hain wilcoxon single sample uh, you know table aisa diya jata hai aise table se bhi aap values pad sakte hain now the the mechanism is says that since the number is more than 8 and because you are doing engineering experiment na engineering mein to aap 64 128 pata nahi kitne sare experiments karne padenge aapko पावर सर पता नहीं आपको कितने प्रोडक्ट्स बनाने पड़ेंगे सो यू हैव टू कंडक्ट सो मेनी एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट सो मेनी ऑफ डेटा ओके सो दिस वी कॉल एज द लार्ज सैंपल सो इन केस आई एम गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द वेरी लार्ज सैंपल देन दिस इज द फॉर्मूला एंड वॉट यू डू इज बेसिकली कैलकुलेट दी स्कोर सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द जी स्कोर जी स्कोर क्या है अब ये जो जेड स्टेटिस्टिक बोलते हैं उसको Z score is the Z statistic, and I am going to use the Z score table. The Z score table is also given in the statistics books. So you can take pick up any statistic books, and you will find in the end of the in, in at the end of the book there will be tables which will which will give you those Z score values. Okay, now what we have to do. interesting this statistic follows the normal distribution and had it has got the mean zero and the standard deviation as one so for our case now let us see what has happened for our case to ye apna jo hai ye yahan pe ye dekho ye kya hai ye w equal to 177.5 hai n is equal to 30 hai so you have to calculate this z score which is calculated here and the for alpha you see for alpha is equal to 0.05 the critical value is plus or minus 1.96 look at this this z score is given as 1.36 okay z score is less than the tabulated value iska matlab there is no significant difference iska matlab ye if i want if some people can be expecting kya yaar mujhe p value hi chahiye i am very much in love with the p value So, आपको क्या करना है ये, ये जो अपना नीचे जो लिंक दिया हुआ है ना यू कैन गो टू दीज लिंक यू कैन गो टू दिस लिंक एंड कैलकुलेट द पी वैल्यू फ्रॉम दिस नाउ प्लीज सी दिस दिस इज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इयर बिकॉज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द जी स्कोर the z score will have this kind of shape okay the z statistic is having this kind of shape ab yahan par one and two tailed test available what is a one tailed test and what is a two tailed test can anybody tell me agar nahi pata koi baat nahi two tailed test is i am saying it is equal to alternate hypothesis says not equal to okay 
it is equal to that is the null hypothesis always the null hypothesis says there is no difference and the alternate hypothesis says there is difference it is equal to and not equal to do alag alag cheeze hain okay so if it is equal to and not equal to we call it the two tailed test okay the second one other i i mean, I mean this one this is the one tailed test ye kya cheez hai if it is equal to and less than or if i say equal to and greater than okay so if it is equal to and less than or equal to and greater than so these are called one tailed tests okay so and this is the two tailed test so the, this one the one tailed test hai because you see the shaded region is only on one side of the curve and the shaded regions are on both sides of the curve so the both sides of the curve ka matlab ye hua this is two tailed test one side of the curve is shaded area is 5% on one side and your shaded area is 2.5% on one side ye jo plus or minus 1.96 tha wo yahi tha it is not equal to ki baat ho rahi hai now let us talk about two sample test one sample test kar liya apan ne अब हम टू सैंपल टेस्ट भी कर सकते हैं अगेन रिमेम्बर दैट ये जो है ये देर आर टू मेकेजम डूइंग इट इफ देर आर स्मॉल नंबर देन यू विल यूज दिल कॉक्सन टेबल अदरवाइज प्लीज फील फ्री टू यूज द जी स्कोर टेबल तो जी स्कोर टेबल इज मच मोर रोबस्ट टेबल ये जो अपना विल कॉक्सन टेबल है वो मिलता भी नहीं है और आपको मतलब इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू यू नो इंटरप्रेट आई वुड रादर रिकमेंड to use the z score table the z score table is easier to interpret all right so this test again is applicable for matched pairs abhi ye yahan pe you know the computer science people who are with us uh, they will be able to uh, you know how to say uh, they will be able to correlate with this example aisa example kaisa hai now suppose for example you set up you set up an examination okay and this in this examination there are 10 problems and you give the personnel whoever is there you know apne to you give those personnel ki baba aapke paas 1 ghanta hai aur 1 ghante mein aapko ye question paper solve karna hai and then what you do is at the end of the question when the question paper is submitted you record the time ki jab question paper diya tha tab kitna time tha aur jab question paper receive hua tab kitna time tha so you record the times okay and then based on the time you give them training ki baba yaar ek question paper solve karne mein ek ghanta lagaya usne kuch log to 2 ghanta laga diye to hum hum training denge training dene ke baad wo time ghatna chahiye ya badhna chahiye computer science people please tell us training dene ke baad ghatna chahiye ya badhna chahiye मैडम सो अगेन पार्वे सर इज आल्सो हियर यस सर टाइम बढ़ना चाहिए सॉरी कम होना चाहिए कम होना चाहिए टाइम कम होना चाहिए ना इसका मतलब ये वन टेल टेस्ट है कि टू टेल टेस्ट है सर टू नहीं ना टाइम कम होना चाहिए ना टाइम कम होना चाहिए कम होना चाहिए तो ये वन टेल टेस्ट है टाइम नॉट इक्वल टू है देन इट्स अ टू टेल्ड बट अगर टाइम कम होना चाहिए एक्सप्लिसिटली हम बोल रहे हैं कम होना ही चाहिए तो ये वन टेल्ड लेटेस्ट है तो दैट इज हॉट द आइडिया इज सो एनी वे सो वट आई डन इज आई देर इज अ बुक कॉल्ड ग्रिवनर रिटर्न तो दिस बुक इज कॉल्ड बिजनेस स्टेटिस्टिक्स एंड आई कैन अपलोड द बुक ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर ड्राइव यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट दैट पर्टिकुलर बुक Uh, the sample data is but that particular group from that particular book i have picked up and the description is time taken to solve a question paper and based on the training okay and those people who are from mgm they can they can empathize with me because erp bhi waisa hi ek system hai jisme training dene se pehle aur training dene ke baad mein koi fark nahi pada so this is one uh, system that we are can we can talk about so uh, Uh, essentially after the training the person should take less time to solve the paper that is what i'm saying so this is a one tailed test that we are talking about 
so what are the steps so basically first of all state the null and alternate hypothesis training did not make any difference boss okay so that means no difference training se kuch nahi hua and then the alternate hypothesis will be median time will be less after the team uh, training that is what the understanding is the median time remember it is i am saying median time not the average time okay so specify the level of significance to maine kya bola level of significance is alpha equal to 0.025 so this is an example where we are not using 5% or 10% or 1% this is another example where we are using 2.5% ya dekh lo hai na ek example hai this level of significance is alpha and that is 0.025 okay so what we have to do is process the sample data and you have to calculate the test statistic ye karna hai yahan pe okay so what do i do so what i am going to do is we are going to calculate the differences sabse pehle differences calculate kar lete hain so difference dekhiye kya hai ki before training so there was 24 some 24 minutes suppose for example after training 11 minutes ho gaya तो ये इसको बेनिफिट हुआ कि नहीं हुआ ये पर्सनल नंबर को इसको बेनिफिट हुआ ट्रेनिंग का 24 मिनट्स लग रहे थे और इसको 11 मिनट्स लगे इसको 20 मिनट्स लग रहे थे अभी अभी 18 लग रहे हैं सो so, इसको बेनिफिट हुआ है नाउ लुक एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पर्सनल यू हैव गॉट 19 मिनट्स बिफोर एंड ही हैज टेकन ट्वेंटी थ्री मिनट्स आफ्टर दिस गाई ट्वेंटी मिनट्स फिफ्टीन दिस गाई वॉज थर्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन दिस गाई टू ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी So, 15 and 8. तो अभी क्या होगा अगर आप बहुत इंटेलिजेंट लोग होंगे ना बहुत इंटेलिजेंट लोग क्या करते हैं बाबा देखो बिफोर ट्रेनिंग एवरेज निकाल लेते हैं आफ्टर ट्रेनिंग एवरेज निकाल लेते हैं भाई एवरेज टाइम आफ्टर ट्रेनिंग इज सो लेस देन दैट सो देर फोर द ट्रेनिंग हैज टेकन बेनिफिट ऐसा ही है ना ऐसे ही कर सकते थे लेकिन नाउ इट इज नॉट दैट सिंपल आई एम सेंग इज दैट इज नॉट दैट सिंपल so if i want to really defeat such ideas of you know ki bhai jo is prakar ki baatein karte hain so if i want to really defeat that so what i have to do is first of all use the wilcoxon sand rank test for two samples so this is what you have to do this is a statistically valid method of doing the test okay not the average nikalo to usse pata nahi chalta boss okay aap average nikalenge to uska pata nahi chalega so what you have to do is calculate the difference column so and then difference column mein kya hoga if i find out the difference so i get 13 i get 2 i got minus 4 i get 5 somebody is waiting in the lobby okay so i get i, I get like this uh, 5 and minus 3 6 and 7 so these are the differences so what do i do i calculate the sign so 13 ka sign kya hai plus 1 2 ka sign plus 1 Four ka sign minus four ka sign minus one. So what I do is write the signs here, and then finally what I do is I ignore the signs and rank them, and then put back the signs. Okay. So ये third position में था. अगर मान लो कि four four को sign ignore कर लेते, तो ये third position में था. और minus minus three कर दिया. Okay. Again this minus three was in the third position, and uh, sorry in the second position. and i have put minus 2 back on it so what i have to do is i have to calculate the sum of the values ye jo sare positive numbers hai unke sum nikalne sare negative numbers hai unke sum nikalna hai so jis ka sum kam hai usko lena hai so look look at the positive positive sum you got 7 plus 1 8 plus 4 12 plus 5 17 plus 6 i'll get 23 so this is one sum and then if i sum up all the negative values i got minus 3 and minus 2 so i have chosen sum of values is 5 so for for our case the t is actually 5 and then if i use the wilcoxon signed rank table for remember that this is a one tailed test and so the number of uh, number of uh, elements that we are testing is 7 here so what i have seen what i am seeing is the t is greater than 0.025 okay so according to this law which is written here if t is less than t alpha then you reject the null hypothesis but here the t is greater than t alpha so therefore null hypothesis cannot be rejected what was the null hypothesis null hypothesis was very clear 
the training did not make any difference okay kisi ko fayda nahi hua that is what is saying okay so if anybody conducts the training okay in the future in your organization all of you are working people in your organization somebody conducts the training yahi wala test lagana hai aur aapko prove karna hai training ne behtar i mean benefit hua mila ya training se benefit nahi mila okay so again if i have got very large samples okay then what i go so got very large samples then what i am going to do is i am going to use this statistic again you can find this statistic in grubner well grubner's book so and i am going to use a level of significance alpha and i can generate the z score i can generate the z score from that particular website i am saying and you can compare the p value okay and you can compare the uh, z score values from the table now we move to the man whitney test so if uh, uh, okay now you tell me uh, some people are inside the campus some people are outside the campus okay so uh, i can continue if you want and uh, yeah this is the last few slides which are there man whitney test so uh, i will continue for maybe say for example 15 or 20 minutes okay so for 15 to 20 minutes please bear with me all right so now we are going to do the man whitney u test so what is ye, this ye u kya cheez hai this u is the name of the statistic of the man whitney test all right now again remember that man whitney ka bhi apna statistic hai apna table hota hai, hai. apna table hota hai however for large samples we can use the z score table the z score table always prefer using the z score table that is always the best one because it is easier to read man whitney table is very difficult to understand so i don't recommend re reading the man whitney test uh, man whitney table all right so you are you are comparing two different samples iska matlab kya hua that those two samples are independent and random suppose for example you are comparing the air quality of aurangabad city and padegaon okay or you are comparing the air quality of Uh, i mean the person who is from karnataka here uh, Kar uh, bangalore and uh, no, not bangalore uh, satellite uh, satellite city the electronics part the electronic city and then uh, you are comparing waha pe kya na which which chidya ghar kahan pe hai sir chidgopkar chidgopkar sir chidya ghar kidhar hai sir i am from manipal sir ah uh, you are from manipal okay okay i am not from karnataka is it karnataka only ha for udp it is ah udp okay okay so anyhow so what you are trying to do is comparing the two air qualities comparing two humidities uh, which you have collected from two different areas poor baat hai kar okay so what you have done is collecting data from two different areas and those two sample sizes can be different ha huh? ye koi zori nahi hai ki you can collect say for example 40 samples here and 60 samples there it is possible you can do that and matlab yahi test karna hai to uh, abhi mujhe ye compare karna hai ki whether these two samples are different or not different ye mujhe karna hai so this is man whitney test okay now i if i if i am sure if i am sure that my data is going to follow the normal distribution then i will use the normal distribution test otherwise main kyu man whitney ke piche padunga okay but what happens is usually the sensors which are human dependent for example agar maan lijiye koi city mein hai wahan pe human influence aa gaya hai usually normal distribution follow nahi hota okay so so what i have to do so measurement scale must be at least ordinal ordinal bola at least ordinal bola ordinal ka matlab 1 2 3 4 wala ordinal ha so that's what i'm saying if the differ so distributions of two population will differ with respect to the central location that means the median okay so i am going to compare two different samples so what i am going to do acha ye ye aapko pata hai ye kya cheez hai ye ye do you know what is this ye jo picture yahan pe dikh raha hai those people who are in aurangabad will will know this ye kya cheez hai 
ये जगह जगह दिखता है सो दिस इज नथिंग बट दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल एज ग्रेवल ओके तो ये क्या होता है ग्रेवल अपन कहाँ पे यूज करते हैं रोड पे यूज किया जाता है ओके एंड टिपिकली दो प्लेसेस वेयर दी ग्रेवल इज प्रेजेंट द रोड इज वेरी ऊबड़ खाबड़ और so the data uh, is uh, the this data is basically the yards of gravel per mile in the urban and rural areas so my expectation see because i am a developing country my expectation should be the urban gravel should be less than the rural gravel or at least equal to hai na i mean usually my expectation aisa hona chahiye urban gravel and rural gravel must be same or at least less than होना चाहिए ऐसा है मेरा नल हाइपोथेसिस ऐसा है देयर इज नो डिफरेंस एंड द अल्टरनेट हाइपोथेसिस इज अर्बन ग्रेवल इज मोर लाइक सपोज फॉर एग्जांपल यू गो टू द यू नो यहां पे सटाना विलेज है पास में यू गो देयर एंड यू विल फाइंड नो ग्रेवल आई मीन आई कैन आर्ग्यू लाइक दिस द अर्बन ग्रेवल इज मोर देन द रूरल ग्रेवल दैट कैन बी द अल्टरनेट हाइपोथेसिस so essentially what is happening is that i put this less than or equal to the rural gravel use that is what i am saying and this should be the assumption the null hypothesis alternatively i can assume that the poorly made roads are there aajkal bahut poorly made roads ho rahe even concrete roads mein pata nahi kya kya ho raha hai okay so this is my data which i have taken again from the grobner et al book okay so what i have to do is the hypothesis again let me tell you that this is the urban gravel is less than or equal to the rural gravel this is what the null hypothesis is saying and the alternative is urban median exceeds rural median so ye typically ye one tailed test hai sir main again main bol raha hu ye one tailed test hai kyun because it is not equal to nahi hai yahan pe greater than hai ya less than hai jahan pe bhi greater than ya less than aaya to that means it will become a one tailed test so this is a typically one tail test okay so i have to first of all then declare the level of significance so i decided like 5% pe apan level of significance test karenge all right so then what i do is collect all the numbers now look see i have got all the numbers 460 830 ye sare jo numbers hai i have collected all the numbers here and here so i collected all the numbers together all ek sath ek hi list mein leke aate hain aur unko ranking laga dete hain this called average ranking i directly do the ranking so this ranking which you are seeing the columns r u and r r this is the overall ranking okay so this is the dekha your one first rank wala idhar hai second rank wala idhar hai okay and then the third rank idhar gaya third rank idhar hai fourth rank idhar hai okay so in both the 6th 5th 6th 7th 8th ha uh, and then this way a 9th idhar udhar so now what i have done is basically i have collected all the numbers ranked them and put the ranks where they belong that is what i have done okay collect all the numbers and arrange them from low to high use average ranking procedure and tied rank is to be replaced but yahan pe koi tied rank nahi tha isliye apan ko kuch hua nahi and then i have created the ranked column so what you have to do is i have to sum the values of the upper values ye jo ye jo apna rank ke summation of rank and summation of rank usually what will happen please see this urban gravel should be less than mane expectation to aisa hi hai na ki urban gravel should be less than agar jahan pe bhi zyada hua to mere ko zyada ranks milenge if the number of gravel or if the gravel per uh, mile is more then they will be because i have used low to high rank lower numbers achieve first rank or i mean you know lower ranks and higher number achieve higher values in ranking so therefore what will happen is ye jo lower values hain they will be located dekho ye they will, so they will be located ye ulta ranking ho gaya kya lagta hai okay anyway ulta ranking hua hai so don't worry about that so those yeah, how come this happened like this okay anyway so i think this there is some ranking number error here so i will correct that error no problem i think there is some numbering error here so anyhow so what i am saying is are you uh, so what got r uh, per rank upper and rank uh, you know lower this is one bit i will correct this there is a connect numbering error here so anyway i will just do that and then i am going to 
so I've, I've got two numbers, u1 and u2. So the, which number? So I have defined this sigma r1 I have calculated and I have got this formula, n1 into n2 plus this, this particular formula and u1 into, I mean u2 is n1 into n2, again this formula. So look, this formula is not difficult to, uh, you know, not difficult to remember. It is a remembering formula. If you want, you can take a snapshot of this particular uh, slide also. Okay, so if you can take the snapshot, then what you have to do is you have to take the maximum of these numbers. Okay, so Baba, where the expectation is that it will be more, because that is the maximum I have to give. Okay, so expect select that which is expected to have a higher median. Jiska expectation higher hai, usi ko upper le lena hai. So what you do is u is equal to max of u1 and u2. So what I've done that, I've just done that. And then either use the man whitney table or for large samples calculate this z-score. Please remember again, you prefer the z-score always. Yes, z-score lijiye and then you will find out that the difference is not significant for alpha equal to 0 0.05. Since the difference is not significant, hello, somebody speaking? Okay, anyway, so since the difference is not significant, I cannot say urban and rural gravel, they will be different. Or rural gravel has to be really more than the urban gravel. It is almost the same thing. So therefore there is no difference and therefore the null hypothesis cannot be rejected in this particular place. Okay, so power sir, if you you remember you have asked this question earlier in the class, ki hamesha null hypothesis ko reject hi karna hai ki nahi karna hai. You remember you have asked this class. It is not necessary. Null hypothesis matlab aapka procedure mein koi fark nahi pada. Aapke training se koi fark nahi pada. Road may koi road ki quality may koi difference nahi hai. Ye sare ke sare matlab agar aapko engineer ko galat jo civil engineer hai na apne sadak ko sadak banane wale unko galat proof karna hai. To aise hi wale test apan ko chahiye. Agar ye ERP ka training dene wala software ka training dene wala usko aise karna hai. To aise hi aapko null hypothesis testing karna padega. Did I answer your question power sir? So they, 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 these are the list of references. Okay, so these these are the list of references here. So Gibbons and Chakraborty, non-parametric statistical inference, Spiegel and Stevens. These are these are the three references. I will upload these books on the uh, on the G drive, and you will be able to how to say refer to them. So for today, uh, we will end here. Thank you, sir. If there is any question, you can ask. Okay, is there any question for today? No, sir. No. Thank you for attending this class. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.